hundreds of thousands of people have been traumatized by violence, whether it is a war that has manifested itself in the entire nation or regions, or it's uh, the context where there's some war going on, but then really brutal acts that take place against civilians, uh, such as in the Democratic Republic of Congo, where thousands of women have been intentionally raped as a, a method of uh, doing violence. Um, in um, South Sudan, there has been the Lord's Resistance Army, which uh, has, has taken children, forced them into uh, being in a, a brutal uh, militia, uh, killing, forcing them to kill other children, and to um, really frighten the population and displace large numbers of people. So people have a tough time coming out of that. I don't think there's ever full healing, but there can be substantial healing that takes place. Uh, there, there can be um, a type of healing that takes place when the community comes together, people are helping each other heal, they listen to each other's stories, they don't try to suppress the memories and, and the awfulness that's in the past, uh, but they, they hear the stories, they validate them with each other, uh, they once again feel affection, care, support, welcome, and, and then they can begin to put their lives back together, not only find healing, but we have seen many cases where they, as they have experienced more and more healing, they actually become active peacemakers in their own community. And so it's a dramatic transformation, but not all at one moment, spread over sometimes years of time. Uh, and that's part of what we do, is to work with people and believe that they can become more and more resilient and make good contributions even after uh, this kind of trauma.